So I just filled this whole video and washed it and found out I had food all up in my teeth. So now, now I have to try to talk about this again. And I feel really think about it. Feel, feel really unauthentic right now. So I'm going to try to do it in a, I don't know, let's just talk about it. So today, uh, I'm going to talk about what it's like to do construction as, um, a, a smaller person or person with high metabolism. I mean, it's not like I went to a doctor and and he said, oh, there's some tests you have high metabolism. You know, it, uh, it's probably a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I I have always been uh, um, generally active and a generally active person. Um, I have gone through times where I've been really, really active. Like right now, I'm doing lots and lots of construction, which is the point of why I'm making this video, <laughs> but, um, like, I've, I've ran cross country, uh, I've always, I've been through times in my 20s where I was into, like, biking, and another time I was into swimming, and, um, and, uh, right now I'm into yoga, which is my favorite, because it's, it's oh, it's, it takes so much, so much less drive, anyway, that's a whole nother video, <laughs> why I love yoga, for the lazy person. <laughs> uh, but, um, anyway, so, uh, my point is, it, oh, oh, another reason is I, I come from a, a long line of, of generally healthy, smaller-ish people, um, uh, who tend to live a long time, and, and, uh, and I am really lucky to have that. I think it's getting windy, so I'm gonna stand up. Let's try to get out of this wind. Uh, so that, that is another thing. Um, anyway, so those are all my disclaimers. Uh, so this morning I wake up and I have, uh, for breakfast, I always eat breakfast. I have uh, a slice of toast and an orange and then like a glass of something to drink. And then not 20, 30 minutes later, um, like I've gotten dressed, brushed my teeth, uh, gone out to feed the dog. And uh, is that too... Is that too long to do those three things? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I'm like, oh gosh, there's no way I can uh, go out and work on the bus right now. Uh, I, you know, because I start, what happens when I get low blood sugar is I start feeling really weak and shaky. Sometimes I get dizzy. And if it, um, uh, if it's gone past the point of no return, I start to sweat. And when I, I don't know if that's TMI, but um, and when I start to sweat, I know I need to go eat now. I need to go eat right now and start finding food. Um, or, or I'll pass out. I have passed out a few times in my life. Um, they were when I was younger, and I haven't for a real long time. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm kind of evened out a little bit. But uh, anyway, and, and so... And I, I, I can't go work on the bus. You know, I'm dressed to work on the bus, and that's what's frustrating. And it's, but it's like that with everything that I do. Um, it, like, it's not like it's kept me from holding down jobs. I just constantly have food with me. Um, I was, I worked in uh, healthcare, and I would just carry <laughs> candy in my pockets um, so I can eat them um, uh, going down the hall. You know, and uh, because you wouldn't always have time to eat, and I was a person who had to eat all the time, and uh, and I'm not. I know that can be really gri gri gripey, gripey. <laughs> On the last time I've used that word, um, I, oh poor you, you have to eat all the time. <laughs> you know, I get that, but um, as a counterpoint, I I do. Um, confession, eat, um, a mostly plant-based diet, uh, and, um, I, I don't eat, I eat mostly stuff that I prepare, uh, which I, th I think even if you don't eat plant-based diet, it's really just a big thing, um, if it's stuff that you have to make, it's going to be so much healthier for you, but anyway, ramble, <laughs> that was a ramble, uh, so I, I don't eat a lot of box stuff. I cook stuff or prepare stuff mostly on my own. I don't like make my own bread or anything, but you know. Um, so I, I went inside after all that and finally getting back to the story. And I had to spend an hour, you know, I made a big pot of, of rice with uh, beans and all kinds of vegetables and um, 
and, uh, and spinach. <laughs> like I just throw stuff in. Um, and uh, I, every time I make stuff, I try to just put as many healthy calories as I can in there. You know, I'm not almost, I'm not one of those people, oh, oil is so bad for you, you know. Uh, and I mean, okay, arteries, what? <laughs> but, but in my case, I'm just like, yeah, let's just, sometimes I make stuff and I'm like, let's use olive oil, avocado oil, let's throw some coconut oil in there. <laughs> I mean, I do it pretty, I, I'm, it's not like I slather or anything, but I, I do bend the rules like that because of my situation because I don't want to have to constantly eat all day long. I'm so I'm finishing my my rice. Where is it? Did I finish it? I don't know. And I had oh yeah I did. And I had a piece of avocado uh, toast with it and some sweet tea. And I bet you in uh, because it's just about after eleven now. <laughs> <laughs> that um, it's going to be lunch soon in like an hour and a half and I'm going to be hungry again um, and so but that's you know then I have to that's why I've learned to do what I did is just um, instead of just making a small meal for what right now if it I just uh, if I can just make a huge batch of whatever you know make a bunch of it once and I can just go in there and eat it all day but um, anyway I'm just complaining I know I'm just Bitching, but, but it was just it was it was bothering me this morning, and some days are worse than others. But that's that's what it's like to be. Um, those are my woes. You know, there there are pros and, and cons to everything. There are ups and downs, and and this is the down to being a person, um, uh, <laughs> a small person with high metabolism. I guess because we're <laughs> trying to build a bus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's everything I do takes so much of my energy, you know, I have to use, like, I'm constantly, like, you know, using my core and pushing with my legs, you know, it's not just, like, I can do anything, I can't even put a screw in without leaning into it with a power drill, okay, <laughs> okay, all right, but I, I am having, honestly, I'm not trying to, I am complaining a lot, gosh, I'm sorry, you guys, uh, it makes it feel so good, though, you know, it just feels so good sometimes, but I am having more and more fun, the more the framing is coming along, it's looking cool, um, it looks like, just like a house that my dad would frame, I can't believe it. I'm building it, and I can't get too close, because, um, sorry, I got distracted by the camera, I hate that I can see my face so distracting. I don't like to look at it. Um, <laughs> just for the fact, the matter of doing these videos. But if you look too closely, you can see the no the novice builder. You see what I'm saying? Like, there, there are gaps and things. There's, there's just stuff everywhere, things that don't line up. I don't think anything is completely level, but um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be my little peewee's playhouse, so... Maybe. Let's, anyway. Alright, guys. Sorry about this. Bye.